What's up, everyone? Welcome to Furious Trailer, and today we'll be talking about best upcoming movies. Aquaman 2 is one step closer to reality, as the movie has been given an official release date by Warner Brothers. The studio has been understandably eager to get the ball rolling on the sequel, as the first movie has overpowered dramatically and has given the DC brand the shot in the arm it needed. While there are still many questions we have when it comes to what we're going to see when the sequel arrives, we now know it's going to surface in winter 2022. Early this year, a rumor made the rounds about MCU's Black Widow movie starring Scarlett Johansson. According to the rumor, at one point, while the film was in development, it was discussed to possibly become the MCU's first R-rated movie, but this turns out to be just a rumor. During interview at an event in promotion of Captain Marvel's upcoming release, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feig officially ruled out the possibility of the upcoming Marvel Studios film having an R rating. This means fans can expect the character to maintain her PG-13 roots, dodging overtly violent action sequences, harsh foul language, or other content which would make it inaccessible for younger audiences. Warner Brothers has reportedly dated its LeBron James-led Space Jam sequel for July 16, 2021. Filming on Space Jam 2 is expected to launch June 17th in California under director Terrence Nance. Black Panther director Ryan Coogler produces the half-live-action, half-animated project teaming the Looney Tunes with the Los Angeles Lakers star. Warner Brothers is officially moving forward with the long-rumored Edge of Tomorrow sequel and have enlisted Matthew Robinson to write the script. Director Doug Liman will return to direct the sequel and will also develop the film's script alongside Robinson. Both Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt are expected to reprise their roles as Major William Cage and Sergeant Reed of Rotaski, respectively. However, neither party is expected to sign a deal with the studio until they've both approved the script. Sylvester Stallone's Rambo Last Blood, the fifth installment of the Rambo franchise, will hit the theaters on September 20th. It will release 37 years after the series started with First Blood. The story centers on Stallone's John Rambo crossing into Mexico and taking on a violent cartel when the daughter of one of his friends is kidnapped. Hotel Transylvania 4 is positioning itself as a big holiday release for 2021. Sony Pictures Animation has announced an official release date for the animated sequel, and it will be arriving Wednesday, December 22nd, just a couple days before Christmas. No title has been revealed yet. Puss in Boots 2 is happening, and the project has just lined up its director. Bob Persichetti, one of the co-directors of Sony's hit Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, has been tapped by DreamWorks to helm the sequel. We had previously heard that the studio was looking to reboot these franchises, but this is being billed as a sequel and not a do-over. In any event, the swashbuckling cat is making a comeback. January is known as a dumpster fire for movies, especially horror releases, as The Bye Bye Man and Insidious The Last Key have shown over the years. This fact is a big reason why Escape Room was such a pleasant surprise when it was released this year, featuring a creative spin on the Saw formula. The film entertained due to its creative Escape Room setups and stylish filmmaking. After earning an impressive $118 million worldwide on a $9 million budget, Sony is beginning to lay the groundwork for a sequel. Simply titled Escape Room 2, Sony has set the film for an April 17, 2020 release date with director Adam Robitel and writer Braggy Shute. Deadline reports that production for the Suicide Squad sequel will start in September in Atlanta, Georgia. The rumored start date came on the heels of Will Smith's amicable departure from the film due to scheduling conflicts. When he was intended to return, Smith has now exited the production, presumably leaving Margot Robbie as the only holdover from the first film. According to earlier reports, The Suicide Squad is a soft reboot. While Robbie may return as Harley Quinn, Gunn plans to introduce an entirely new cast of characters to the movie, which follows villains forced to work as black cops for the government. Disney has cleared one of the last major hurdles in its quest to buy much of 21st Century Fox. Brazil's antitrust regulators on Wednesday approved Disney's $71.3 billion deal after Disney agreed to sell many of the sports channels in Brazil. Warner Brothers is developing The Trench as a spin-off horror movie to its mega-hit Aquaman. The studio has hired Noah Gardner and Aidan Fitzgerald to write a script centered on The Trench, the deadly amphibious creatures who attacked Aquaman and Mera in the movie. The project will be set in the Underseas Kingdom in the Marianas Trench, where a group of the original inhabitants were sent after Atlantis sunk and evolved into savage monsters. 
Although Alita Battle Angel has only been running in cinemas for several weeks, a sequel is already in the works. This is at least what director Robert Rodriguez recently said. A precondition for this is of course that the first film runs well, and this seems to be the case at least up until now since 140 million of the 170 million US dollars in production cost effort raised so far mainly in the USA. So if the first part is successful abroad, a sequel is almost guaranteed as the end leaves a lot of room for a second part. We'll probably be able to say more about it in a few months time. But so far, the forecast looks very pleasing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.